The Steelers appear to be losing a guy that started 75 games for them over the last five seasons. Should we be concerned? I'd say slightly. Big Deke News. This morning, Steelers safety Terrell Edmonds took to Twitter to indicate he has taken his last snap in Pittsburgh. He says, thank you, Pittsburgh, for making my dreams come to reality. You will forever be a part of me and my journey. I'm thankful for all my coaches, teammates, and every fan supporting. To my brothers, y'all know how we rockin'. It's going to be love until the wheels fall off. Hashtag man time. This is definitely a bummer. Not the end of the world, but damn, Edmonds leaves a void. Seriously, I mean, like I said at the beginning, he has started 75 games for us over these last five seasons. He's only missed three eligible games. Been Mr. Reliable, uh, Mr. Durability has been averaging 80 plus tackles per season. His coverage has improved as time has gone on. Yeah, he's just a damn good player. Great compliment to me. We've been saying this how many times. Uh, we did bring back DeMonte Casey, though. So that's why this makes this not the end of the world. But at the same time, Casey, I mean, we view him a little bit more as a ball hawk. He is an underrated tackler. I think we did see him, you know, jumping up to the line of scrimmage, making short tackles, actually laying out some big hits as well. Um, but Edmonds is the guy we've been talking about. Hey. You know, we're bringing in these two thumper linebackers, not as good in coverage. We also could use an Edmonds, even though we already have a Casey. If we bring him back, we can move him up to the box a little bit more, do some of those three safety sets that we were looking at. It basically just gives us insurance for the rest of this offseason and heading into the draft that we got capable dues and a guy that is versatile in Edmonds and can play safety can move up into the box. You got a Devontae Casey who could play safety, but also could play some slot corner. So yeah, that's why bringing back Edmonds, I felt like was so key. It just feels like right now we're a man or two short on defense with our linebacker situation, also with our secondary. And Edmonds could have filled a couple of those voids by being a safety, but also coming up as the box linebacker at times or being a dime linebacker. I know there is still free agency to be had. Also, there is still the draft. But when you look at some of the safeties in free agency that are available, I mean, there are some names. John Johnson, Adrian Amos. Uh, a lot of people are bringing up Taylor Rapp because he could come in and do some of that box linebacker type of stuff. I would just rather have Terrell Edmonds back, especially with all the familiarity here with the Steelers. He was good. Uh, all those other guys, yeah, they could be good as well, but they could also maybe be worse. I mean, there's just, let me put it to you this way. There's just more uncertainty with bringing in a uh, different safety. Whereas Edmonds, he's been here five years. Like that matters. Continuity does matter to a degree. So right now we're good. The KZ resigning definitely helps with the Edmonds loss. And I'm sure there are still moves out there. We still have the cap space and everything. A lot of signs are pointing to us bringing back Bud Dupree. But when the draft rolls around, it, it definitely leaves for more interesting combinations and options that the Steelers could be doing. Because bringing back Edmonds meant, in my opinion, you don't need to draft an athletic linebacker early. Maybe you could take a guy like DeMarvin Overshone in the third or something like that. And by bringing back an admins, it didn't necessarily mean you had to take a slot type of cornerback early on either. Because if you have admins, you could bump up Casey. If you have admins and the other teams in a passing situation, you could pair him with one of our linebackers right now in a nickel formation, or you could have him play dime linebacker. That's the type of impact that admins brought to the table. Now that we don't have admins, and if we don't sign a safety and free agency, I think... Brian Branch is seriously in play in the first round because he could do the slot corner stuff. He could play safe. You could move him all over the field. He could be like a Tyron Matthew for you. Then that, see, here's the problem. Here, here's what I'm saying. Because you're taking a Brian Branch, you're not taking a potential other position of need like a left tackle or a slot receiver or an outside cornerback. So that's why, I, I again, I, I'm bummed out that we're not bringing back Edmonds. We brought back Edmonds. I didn't even think Brian Branch or, or that type of player would have to be on the table for us in the first two or three rounds. But now, yeah, I, it wouldn't be a bad thing. It just sucks that we don't have more options, more flexibility heading into the draft. Like, would you be opposed to, let's say, Brian Branch at 17, 
32, get like a Deontay Banks in the second round. I don't know if Trenton Simpson or Drew Sanders falls. I really don't know that. Maybe you do Brian Branch, Drew Sanders, or Trenton Simpson at 32, and then second round you get like Emmanuel Forbes or, yeah, one of those decent cornerbacks like a Cam Smith in the second tier. I don't know, man, but then you're missing out on offensive tackle. But if you're cool with that and just bringing in a guy maybe in the third round to compete with Dan Moore, there's that. It's just, yeah, I think Terrell Edmonds was an important player to bring back. And, yeah, it sucks that we're not. I'll be interested to see what his contract's going to be because that'll be telling. If it's, you know, if it's above five, it's if it's like it's six or seven, all right, I get it. But if it's four or five or less, man, I don't know. Yeah, I'd be I'd be disappointed if the Steelers didn't make a serious effort. If Terrell Edmonds just didn't want to come back, fine. There's nothing that we can do about that. But yeah, I think he was an important piece. Uh, he will be missed. Once a Steeler, always a Steeler. Thank you, bro. That's it for this edition of Big Deep News on a Thursday. Let me know what you guys think of this new Terrell Edmonds information. And what do you think the Steelers do going forward? Stay chilling. Peace.